reflect on the impact our mothers have had on our lives, but to remember those we have lost and how to deal with any grief that may come up because of that. We're joined now by Nirmala Renika, founder and executive director of the Paradise Valley Healing Center, for more on this. Thank you for being here today. Good morning, uh, Jennifer. Happy Mother's Day to you, and happy Mother's Day to everyone. Thank you, thank you, and you know, and to all the people who are mom-like figures as well, aunts, grandparents, sometimes close friends, they all deserve recognition today. That's right, uh, there, are, there are so many people in our lives who actually provide that uh, nurturing, kind support. Um, I can reflect back on my elder sister, uh, my mom, uh, you talked about grief, my mom had, there were 10 kids, we were 10 kids, and my father died at a very young age, so my mom was um, very courageous. She raised all of us. Uh, she's no longer with us. Um, she passed away 35 years ago. However, my elder sister, she stepped in and sort of nurtured us. So yeah, we have to look, look at all those uh, caregivers out there. They fully provide uh, motherly love with a lot of compassion, kindness. And um, one thing I want to say about mothers, mothers have tremendous energy. We call it Shakti. They have a lot of divine energy. No, no kidding. They really do. They, they have to sometimes with their kids, right? <laughs> they have to have patience. So you'd mentioned grief. I also have lost my mom in the past year. So how does one try to get through this day? If, they're, if they are living with grief or maybe even conflict that they have with their mom? So first of all, you know, as um, human beings, we uh, we do have a variety of emotions, and you know, when our needs are met, we are happy, um, we are comfortable. But when we don't, when our needs are not met, you know, we feel depleted, exhausted, uh, depressed, um, angry. However, just coming back to the fact that um, you know, when you lose your your mother, how do you cope? I mean, I know. Um, in our family, we came together as uh, siblings, really supported each other, and we were there for each other. And of course, you know, if, if somebody is really um, not being able to cope, then always it's a great advice to go and um, get that help and support, whether it's a professional advice or support, or reach out to family and friends. Often, one of the things I, I would recommend um, uh, anyone to do, any mothers, that if you're feeling depleted, um, check in with yourself. Um, you know, mothers try to be that perfect mom. They want to do everything. But I think the important thing is to take a pause and check in with your emotions. Am I being, my, am my needs being met? And, and those four needs, as we, uh, Abraham Maslow said, is we all need attention, we need affection, we need appreciation, and we need acceptance. And who else can provide that as? from us is, is, is actually our family and our friends. So it's a check-in for all of us to um, to look at our mothers and, and see how what can I do, how can I serve my mom. And it's not always about buying a gift. Maybe one day do that house chores. <laughs> yes. One day kids get on board, help out with the chores. Thank you so much for making time for us today. We really do appreciate it. Have a wonderful day as well for you, and we are sorry about the loss of your mom. She has a great family yes, supporting her. Thank you. Yes, Nirmala Ranika joining us from Paradise Valley Healing Center.